Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing very well. In this video, we are going to resolve this annoying error which says uh, could not load file or assembly or one of its dependencies error. So we are going to see a quick solution for that. So without wasting any time, let's get started with this video. So what you have to do is just go to the start menu and right here, reddit it. Now, this is a registry editor, guys. If you want to run this, uh, just right click here and click on run as administrator. And if it asks you for the prompt again, click yes. Now, guys, as I told you before, this is a registry editor, which is the main source of running Windows. So it's best that before making any changes, you tend to take the backup of the registry editor. So if anything goes wrong, you can just uh, import that backup again uh, to restore it to the previous state. So uh, to export the backup, all you have to do is just click on this file and click on export and you can save it to a convenient location. Let's save it to uh, an other drive, but I recommend you to save it to a particular location, which is different from your hard disk. So let's say ex an external drive or a USB. So here I recommend you to take the file name backup, like registry editor backup on a particular date, let's say 24th, November 2024 so that you can remember up to which point the backup was created and click on save. Now whenever you want to restore that backup, I'll just uh, wait for the backup to be completed. Alright, now that the backup is complete, whenever you want to restore that backup, you can uh, just go to the file menu and click on import and follow the same process and select and go to the particular location and then click on open. So it should be able to import the registry file back. So after that is done, just go to this H key local machine and click on software. Just drill it down and just search for Microsoft and just search for fusion. Now it's convenient that if you uh, click on any particular folder and type F, it will directly take you to this F category. So fusion, just drill it down. In fact, what you can do is just click on this folder and on the right hand side, you can see this file name uh, which says default. So here we have to create a new file. Just right click, click on new. Now here we will select the word 32 bit value and it will uh, show it as new value, but you have to change the name. Now I'll name it as disable cache viewer. Now just make sure that you have to write it in exact same way where you have to combine all the words without spaces and uh, each first letter should be capital. Hit enter. Now just double click here and the value that is set to zero, just change it to one. So let's click OK and just close out of here. And uh, in order to make it effective, you can uh, just restart your computer to make it work fine. So let's restart the computer. So uh, after restarting, your problem will resolve. And if it was effective, just comment down below if it works so that it can help all the community out here. So with this said, this is Saad signing off from today's video. Take care.